Well, time to take care of Chuck, I suppose. <laughs> yeah, the problem is how tough Chuck is doesn't really matter. The question is how tough are your Pokemon, man? Like, seriously, you can chuck as many rocks as you want. It means absolutely nothing. <sighs> man, getting low on soda. Oh, well, I can wait. Okay, time to terrorize him with the quillfish. A leer, eh? Well, it's not a horrible plan. It does mean, you know, Polyrath can do more damage with its moves. Though, well, considering its main attack options are Surf, which I'm gonna resist, and Dynamic Punch, I'm also gonna resist, uh, it still doesn't have great options. Though it might be able to force a switch out if I get confused. Headbutt, try for the flinch chance. Sweet. Well, got a lucky hit in. Gosh darn it. Ah, uh, getting desperate, huh? Well, I'll switch over to freaking uh, Bombay. Oh, we got lucky there. Headbutt. I mean, I just need a little chip damage to finish it off. Okay. Chuck has been dealt with. Okay, we now get ourselves a storm badge. Now I grab fly and uh, head back to the mainland. I may or may not run that, I don't know. I mean dynamic punch is just too unreliable in my opinion to really wanna run it. If it had better accuracy, I'd be more tempted. You know? I'm a bit surprised they decided to just give Fly to a random passerby, though. Like, what if you don't stop and talk to her? You never, you never have Fly the entire game. It suck. Like, imagine getting everywhere by, by bike and, and surf, man. Oof. Like, it would be an awful way to do it. Well, time to go flying. Come on. Gotta go deliver that mess in the Amphi. Though I'll leave dealing with uh, the Chimp Owl until next time. I mean, that can be a bit tricky. Though we do have a plan, so it shouldn't be too bad. Oh, we may have to try a few times to get stuff where we want it. <sighs> Gosh darn it. I forgot I hadn't fought this guy. Well, sludge bomb. I don't think I need the critical hit, though. Well, a Poliwhirl, huh? That's under level. Where'd he even get this? Man, he cheated. So I find a Poliwhirl at that level. No. The only real advantage of using something like pin missiles is it gives you a, a bug move to use on psychic types. And that's not a big enough concern for me to worry about it. Yeah, I know, we gotta deal with, you know, a psychic trainer on uh, the Elite Four, but it's just like, even that's not enough to encourage me to want to put pin missile ball moves on my moveset. So I'm like, it's not worth it. It's not worth it at all. <sighs> I mean, I guess I can waste a moment on you. 
but I don't really want to, because let's face it, Ernest is just gonna be resting real fast. And the overpowering nature of Sludge Bomb continues. Eh, it's still not gonna survive. Like, I got ten levels on it. I can practically use whatever move I want and it work. Though admittedly, this move has no effect on the next gym leader. Like, it would do nothing there. Okay. Well. Well, I'll take care of that, and let's drop off the medicine. Yeah, 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 I'm not surprised. I know some pets are like that. All their pets are like, uh, Rose and Maggie, you know, where they'll gladly take food from anybody. Even try and steal it right off your plate. I mean, jeez, we had, a uh, Rosette, she did that one time to my mom's mom. My grandma, my mom's son, just jumped up there and started eating her porridge. Yep, just climbed around the table, just like, this is my breakfast now, I claimed it. She's like, I stole it. It's mine. I'm just like, it's like, okay, dog. Ugh. Well, until next time, then. See ya.